I've been wanting to try out oil pastels for over a year now, and finally it is time. There are a lot of different brands available, and I hope this video can help you decide if the Mungyo Gallery oil pastels are a good fit for you. I'll be swatching the entirety of the 72 color set, 15 additional shades that I bought separately, and I will also compare them to a couple of Sennelier, Gneo Pastel and the regular Mungyo oil pastels. I've added two small landscape sketches at the end, so if this is your first time using oil pastels as well, maybe you can practice along with me, a fellow noob. After much deliberation, I went with the 72 color set of Mungyo Gallery oil pastels. Usually when I try out a new medium, I like to start with a limited palette. But my goal for using oil pastels was to loosen up and to just have fun. Maybe it was also that the 72 color set was on sale and the smaller ones weren't, but who knows. As I looked at the color selection before ordering, I noticed that most of the shades available in this box were quite bright and saturated. To balance those colors, I got a couple additional shades, mostly pastel hues and very muted grays and greens, with a couple of bright purples thrown in because, again, I was trying to have fun. To actually give proper feedback and to figure out what kind of oil pastels I personally like, I went to a friend's studio and did some swatching and testing. Paul Rubens felt too messy for what I was looking for. And while the Sennelier oil pastels are amazingly buttery and pigmented, I wasn't quite ready to make that kind of an investment into a medium I wanted to use mostly for sketches. The Neo pastels too are quite creamy and soft, but create less of a textured finish than the Sennelier ones. I also tried the regular Mungyo oil pastels. Be careful when shopping. The labeling can be a bit confusing. These are more waxy and chalky than the artist grade oil pastels. They worked fine for a couple of sketches I made though. The Mungyo Gallery oil pastels are much drier than the Sennelier, Paul Rubens or even Neo pastels. And they are easier to control. That was exactly what I was looking for. A medium to sketch with, maybe even outdoors. And that wouldn't be too messy on small formats. If you're looking to paint larger, elaborate oil pastel pieces at your desk, I'm sure the Sennelier or Paul Rubens would be a great fit for that.
overall, I really like the 72 color selection. Whilst watching, one thing that stood out to me was how these oil pastels are all very consistent. Except for some of the lightest hues, they all feel very similar, with no changes in density, pigmentation, or what I like to call messiness. The shades that stood out to me as different are the lime and pale green shade, especially. They feel just a little bit more chalky compared to the rest and created a few flakes of oil pastel that I had to blend back into the paper. The pale yellow as well feels drier than the darker shades, so maybe that's just an issue with the lightest colors. The greys, especially the dark cool grey, verona grey and green grey are amazing, but I wish there were a few more brown steps in between the russet and brown shade. If you look at this giant swatch sheet I made here, you can tell that those desaturated colors were a great addition. Especially the greens, aero green, willow green, dark sage, and the pastel grey, which is already my favorite of the whole set. I'm trying to be more conscious about grey hues in my art in general, so I was hoping these would counteract my art weakness of going in way too saturated, way too quickly. Another color that really stood out to me was this Jasperry Jam, and it's not just because of the name. The color is both intense and a deep red, but also kind of toned down with a bit of a more vintage feel to it than the other reds in the 72 color collection. Also, you can see that there aren't a lot of dark browns or darks in general in the standard box. I got an additional cocoa brown and dark sepia, and already used both of these very dark colors in some sketches I made. So if you also like to have some darker contrast in your paintings, those might make for a good addition. My first practice sketch here is done in the oil pastels I'd borrowed from my friend, so mostly the regular Mungyo oil pastels, and one Senneli and two Neo pastels. This way I could actually compare and give you a better impression of how the Mungyo artist grade work. I had this idea that blending oil pastels would be much easier if I had a colorful base layer to work with. If you're like me, oil pastels always appeared a bit messy to use, I'm still figuring out how these work, so I try to stay within my comfort zone by combining them with a medium that I already knew well. 
I think any type of paint, watercolors, gouache, acrylics, would work well for this base layer. Having a toned paper like this to draw on made the oil pastels feel way less intimidating and I got to instead focus on how the different brands feel. So this is my very first oil pastel piece, created with that mix of borrowed pastels. It's just a little Jeju Island harbor scene based on a picture I had on my phone. And then it was time to test the Mungil Gallery oil pastels. I used the same idea, though I wanted to challenge myself a bit more. I had taken a picture of the harbor nearby at night a couple weeks back and thought a night scene would be a fun reference. After painting the base layer in acrylics again, I gave it a moment to dry and then went in with the oil pastels, capturing the darkest shadows and overall composition first. I then blended out those colors with one of these Faber-Castell blending sticks I had lying around for years and never used. At this stage I wasn't trying to mix colors together, but to push the pigments into the paper so they won't lift or flake off when drawing over them. Once I started on the buildings and even some smaller elements like windows, I really fell in love with the Mungio pastels. They work amazingly well for details. Maybe because I'm overall a very slow and cautious painter that loves to get lost in details, that's a perfect fit for me, stylistically. The lights and light reflections were the most fun, and I think the Mungio White covered the dark paint layers well, to really capture the light effect. These are less buttery than the Senele oil pastels, though, so if you'd like your final result to have that more textured look, where all the individual strokes are visible, the Sennelier ones might be a better fit. I do actually plan on getting just a few highlight colors from Sennelier, the white, maybe a very bright yellow or ice blue, to really capture sparkling lights, but at least for this I'm perfectly happy with the Mungyo ones. So these might be a good fit for you if you're looking for a more budget-friendly option, you like working on small formats or getting precise details on paper. And I actually tried this already. The box is surprisingly easy to travel with and I loved sketching with them outdoors. Just like I'd hoped, they are not too oily or messy and stick to the paper well enough to safely travel back home again. No need for fixing or varnishing immediately. I hope this helped you with your own oil pastel decisions, gave you a closer look at the individual colors in this set and a few beyond, and maybe even gave you an idea for a simple practice sketch to start with. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in my next sketchbook video.